So I recently bought a cheap laser cutter off of uh, Amazon, one of the Chinese uh, K40s, I guess they're called online. And I, it came with this laser draw software, and it works, um, but it's a little cumbersome to bring in um, designs from other programs. So after looking at it a little bit, I, I saved a bunch of different files from this, um, opened them up, and started looking at them bite by bite. And what I came up with was I drew, wrote my own extension for Inkscape that will allow you to make a design in Inkscape, export it to a laser draw file, LYZ file. Um, and I have this website that it's available on. Um, you can download it as a zip file. There's some directions on how to install the extension. Um, basically, you just have to unzip it and then take those files and um, put them into the extensions folder and it'll tell you here how to how to find that folder and One of the the way you use it is you make your design in Inkscape um, use red um, To indicate cutting lines blue to indicate engraving lines and black to indicate uh, raster engraving and there's a couple of pictures of some some uh, a couple of items that I made when I first designed this program and and was trying it out so I was going to go through real quick here and show how to uh, make a quick simple design in Inkscape. So this is the Inkscape window. And I'm going to open up the fill and stroke properties because I don't want this to be black. So that comes up over here. I'm going to do fill, Excel, get rid of the black, stroke paint. I'm going to, that outside, or that border that I made there, the rectangle, I want it to be red because what I want to do is cut that. So this is going to be a design that's all contained within this red box here. So and it's a little bit it's a little bit hard to see right now. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the, the lines a little bit thicker so we can see it on the screen really good. Um, the extension that I wrote it doesn't care how thick the lines are. Um, it's probably best to keep them as thin as you can handle because uh, when the when the blue and red lines are erased it's going to leave a little bit of a white mark. Um, if, the, if it's thin enough you won't even see it. Um, that may be something I change in some future versions of the extension. But so we have a, a box. Um, I guess we'll draw a, a star just to make it interesting, um, and we'll do some some text here. And so we'll grow that a little bit. And so now basically what's happening right now is this is going to be cut out. Uh, the star is going to be cut out. Uh, the text is um, going to be raster engraved. So it's going to be the, the laser is going to go back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth. Um, we can change that by going into the stroke properties here. We'll change this. And that I don't want to cut it out, so I'll change that to zero. I'm going to go back down to blue, 255. Now if we zoom in on this, you can see that around those letters it's blue so what that means is that it's gonna we're gonna we're gonna get some vector engraving there um, I'm gonna reduce this so there's still a blue line there but it's really thin or two five so we can actually see it um, so that's a pretty thin line so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually gonna leave that the Well, let me let's let's do this. I'm, I'll I'll take that fill. Well, let's see. I'll take the fill, and I'll turn off the fill on that, so it's that's engraved. And let's just make another star here, and let's fill that star with black. So that's going to be black star. And I guess we kind of have this theme going here where we do. Star, so I'm just going to do a blue star. Well, no, don't want to. No, it's just blue stroke. So make sure that stroke is 255 on the blue. So there we have a pretty simple design. Um, now to what we want to do to export that um, into an LYZ file, we're gonna. One important thing is we don't want to we don't want to have this whole page exported and, and the LYZ export the laser draw export is always going to export an entire page so right now if we exported this whoops it's going to 
export the entire page so I have all this blank space up there, all this blank space down there, and actually this is probably bigger than my the whole bed on my laser. So the easiest way to do that, to fix that, is to go to Document Properties, um, Resize Page to Content, and just click that button. And now you can see that the border is right right up against the design. So that's that that's how we want it to be. So let me zoom into this. I'm gonna so I'll zoom to um, the page again, and that's that's the whole page. So we're going to go into File Save Is after the extension is installed. There will be two options down here: Laser Draw LYZ and Laser Draw LYZ dot zip file. Um, the LYZ we can we can save that as an LYZ. It's going to give us some options. We're going to you can save the vector cuts, the red lines, the engraved cuts, the vector engraved, the blue lines, the raster engraved, everything else other than the red and blue. Um, or you could ex extract, ex um, send all of it um, to the export so you get vectors, rasters, everything all in one file. That's really good if you want to just check, make sure everything's coming out okay and everything's scaled properly. Um, this last option, image, is going to export everything as an image. So it'll be it won't extract any of the blue or red or whatever. Um, that's similar to if you were to save a EMF file and then s send that to to uh, laser draw. And then there's an option here to convert text to paths. Um, and that's important. If you have text and you want to do the outlines, um, you need to add that selected or convert them to paths ahead of time. So I'm actually going to skip this because the quicker way to get all these things exported is to go to save as and to select the LYZ zip and we'll put in a demo here and what that's going to do we're not going to have as many options because it's going to, it's going to automatically generate most of those files other than the image uh, export um, it has the same option to convert the text so this is going to make a zip file with all of those files and it actually goes a little bit faster um, then doing those files individually, it'll end up coming out as a zip file, so we have to deal with that a little bit, but um, it's just cleaner, and then everything's in one nice package when it's when it's exported. So now everything is exported, so we can go open up that folder where it went to, and it's got the demo.zip file. We can double click on that, look at what's in there. We have um, um, the files that were all exported, and they're going to be numbered in the order that you generally want to um, work with them with laser draw. So we have one is the raster engrave, two is the vector engrave, three is vector cut, and then all is a file generally I won't use um, for doing any engraving, but I might look at it to make sure that um, everything's looking okay in in the file. And then I, it also saves the SVG file of your design. So Basically, inside the zip file is everything you'd need to recreate this design, and you could go back and edit it with the SVG file. Um, it's just a nice little package. You don't have to worry about, you know, did I, what did I save the raster to, the vector to, or the vector cut to? So it's it's a little nice that way. Um, so I, if I open up Laser Draw, we can open up uh, one of those files. Whoops, can't do that. I need to. Forgot I need to unzip this first. And actually, you can you can um, double click on one of those inside the inside of the, the zip file, and LaserDraw will open it. But you have to have LaserDraw closed in order to do that properly. Um, so each time you want to open a new file, you have to close LaserDraw and then double click on the file, and it will open it. So let's just look at the all file. Um, like I said, we won't engrave with this one, but it'll give you an idea of what's going on. So I forgot to look, but okay, so here's the layout. Um, it's 125 by 78 millimeters. So if we go back to the to our design and we look at document properties, so it's 125 by 78. And let's see what we have here. 125 by 78. So you can see that the scaling came in right. Can't get it to show both of them at the same time, but um, but that so you can verify the scaling is correct in laser draw. 
um, by looking at this and you can see what came in as raster um, is just that one star and then I had the, the outline of that star is blue so that that's going to also get vector engraved and then one of these stars is engraved and one is cut but you can't tell that in this in this file because it's all in one file so if we open up one of the other files we look at the raster engrave it's just going to show this one star whoops that's the raster engrave sorry and then we have the vector engrave it'll show this the two stars because this one was raster engraved and then vector engraved and then we have this star that was engraved and then scorchworks and then the vector cut file is just the outline plus this one star over here so we'll bring take open each one of each of those files individually send it to the laser and as long as we don't move the laser head in between jobs it, 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 everything will line up correctly so let's step on over to the laser okay so we, here we are in the uh, in the other room with the laser engraver I have laser draw open here I have the same file open that we just opened on the other computer so I save my files to a network drive and then I come in here and, and open them up again um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the engrave window um, I already have it kind of positioned where it needs to be um, I clicked on it and dragged it um, to get it where I want it to be so my laser heads in the correct position inside the laser and we're gonna do this is the raster engraving so we're gonna do engraving sunken and I got my speed here set at 300 I'm gonna set my uh, level to about uh, 6 milliamps um, on my K40 and let's see if we can come down here and see what it's gonna look like so we've got to move down here So I have, so I'll turn on my pump, my air pump because I have air assist going. And I have the, I'm going to do a really quick test fire to make sure it's on. Everything's working, my pump's going. And now we'll hit start, or starting as they say, and let that guy run. So this is doing the engraving portion, it's going to just do that one star, which will come back and uh, engrave around in the next step. And this is what I'm cutting is uh, quarter inch plywood from Home Depot. They, uh, I buy it in a, well, I, I've only bought it once, I bought a 4 by 8 sheet, it was uh, 22 bucks or something like that, so it's not too bad, it's pretty cheap material. Um, and the this K40, the 40 watt K40 has, um, uh, it doesn't have too much trouble cutting through that as long as I have the air assist going. But without the air assist, it would be uh, a real struggle. Okay, that's finishing up there. Smoothly go back up to the other screen here. I'm gonna go back. So now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna say open the next file and that's going to be the vector engraving file I hope that's looks like you can see it on there um, so now I'm gonna click on engra the engraving there um, I'm gonna and for the vector engraving I actually do cutting um, but it's at not 15 um, I'm gonna do about 50 millimeters per second and so now I have that set up. All I'm going to do is hit start again on that because I didn't move anything down here. So it's, it's just doing the outline, um, the vector engraving. got some pretty nasty noise coming from this thing. I need to go figure out where that's coming from. It's hitting that star. Okay. So there we go. That's done. Now I come back up here and get my big hand in here again. And I'm going to open the next file. And I'm going to do the vector cut. And that's the star. And then it's, it's the border around. So now 
I'm going to change this back to 15. Eh, let's go. So I'm going to go. Uh, 12 seems to work pretty good on uh, on uh, cutting through this quarter inch plywood. But I'm going to crank up my. I'm going to come down here, and I guess I'll maybe show you what I got going on over here. I'm, I'm going to crank up the the amps on this guy. And I have a little marking there where I can tell where I am approximately. Come down here. So basically I just go back up here and hit start. And this guy's going to cut through there. this guy here. I did have this tape, tape down just so I didn't uh, that's what that looks like. So it's a pretty pretty simple process now to get things um oh I forgot we cut that one out too. And there's just some spooge on the back from a test I did before. So there you have it. Good luck.